What's up you guys, Jason Wardrop here and in this video I'm going to talk about the top three reasons why real estate agents fail with their Facebook advertising. Right now, you know, you've probably gone through and you try to run some Facebook ads in the past and maybe you had some success, maybe you didn't have some success, maybe you think it's a total waste of money and time and all that stuff. Well, let me just let you in on a couple little secrets here of why most real estate agents fail with their Facebook advertising. Now, I've got a pretty good idea here because I've worked now with over 3,000 real estate agents, so I'm able to see what the top agents are doing, what the kind of like intermediate, mediocre agents are doing, and the ones that are just, you know, not having any success at all. And so I wanted to share that with you so you can go through and make the changes necessary with your advertising, with your lead generation, so you could start seeing results, right? Now, the first one that I see, the biggest mistake, is that people choose the wrong objective when setting up their advertising campaign. So when you go through and set up a new advertising campaign inside of Facebook, it's gonna ask what's your marketing objective, right? So it says like video views, clicks to website, engagement, um, leads, or whatever it is. You want to go through and choose the right objective for your business. Okay, now what really ends up happening a lot of times is you go through, you set up your Facebook page, you get the you know the pretty header cover photo, you get your nice profile picture, you make your first post, and then you see that little blue boost post button down at the bottom right hand corner. You get all excited, you think, oh, I gotta press that and I'm gonna get more exposure, I'm gonna get more people seeing it, I'm gonna generate tons of leads. And what ends up happening is yes, more people see that post, and yes, you're gonna get more likes and comments, but you're not really gonna see any leads from what you just went through and did, okay? And I consider a lead someone's name, their phone number, and their email address, right? Now, what's gonna happen when you click boost posts is it's gonna go through and Facebook's gonna think, okay, I'm gonna boost this post for engagement, okay? So they're gonna show your post to the people in your target audience who are more likely to like and comment on that post. Now, Facebook has so much data on every single one of their users, they know which users are more likely to watch a video, more likely to like or comment on a post, more likely to opt into a lead generation form, more likely to click to a website. And so based off your marketing objective, they're gonna go through and show that post to the people that are more likely to go and fulfill what you're telling them to do. Okay, so what I like to do is go through and set up either a website conversion ad, which we've got tons of trainings on that, so I'm not gonna talk about that in depth on this video, or a lead form, lead generation ad, okay, using Facebook's lead form, which auto-populates all of the information inside of Facebook for that person opting in. All right, now that is the first and biggest mistake that most people make is they choose the wrong objective, and then, you know, they don't generate leads, they just went and they spent 50 or $100, and they're like, ah, oh, I just wasted tons of money, and they just think it doesn't work, okay? Now the second thing is, is they don't let their campaign run long enough to actually see good results. Now there's a story, and I believe it's in Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, and it talks about a miner who went through and stopped three feet short of gold. Okay, so it's during like the, the gold rush back in the day, and all these people were getting all this gold, and so he goes and he starts mining for gold, and he finds all this gold, and he's like, oh yes, this is awesome, and he finds this little vein of gold. Okay, he starts falling and just getting all this gold, and then it just, all of a sudden, it just totally just runs out. And he, and he just like, what happened? He goes and he just stops mining and he sells off that, that gold mine that he had spent so much of his life going through and trying to find all this gold. Right now, what happened is this new person that bought the gold mine comes in and they go and they hire this expert, okay? Because they knew they weren't the expert on mining gold and all that stuff, right? And they go and they find out you know what, Th this vein of gold, it actually continues and there's actually way more gold, but it was just three feet over because of like the, the fault lines and all that stuff. There was an earthquake and the fault line had shifted a little bit and because it had shifted, that guy had lost track of where the gold vein went and he just missed out on all of this opportunity, okay? Now, the same thing goes with your Facebook advertising, same thing goes with running your Facebook ad campaigns. Lots of times I get people to go through and they, they're like, I, I'm, I'm gonna really try Facebook ads and they try it for three days, okay? And better yet, they put like maybe five to $10 per day towards that budget, so it's like, you know, three days, five bucks, it's $15 or even $10 a day, that's $30. Like seriously, you think you're gonna go through and close a deal off of $30? Like if you could go through and close a deal and make five grand, 10 grand, 15 grand a commission from $30 spent on advertising, 
everyone and their dog would be doing real estate, right? So the, the thing is you got to go through, you got to make a commitment to yourself and just because you go through and read a book like Think and Grow Rich or Rich Dad Poor Dad or something like that, people think they know how to go through and make money. Whereas same thing with Facebook advertising, they go watch one video, they're like, oh, I'm gonna be an expert, I'm gonna go through, generate all these leads, make all this money. You know what, it, it doesn't always happen the first time. Okay, sometimes like obviously we go through, try to shortcut everything for you, eliminate a lot of the trial and error, give you the ads, give you the target and all that stuff, but every market's just a little bit different. Okay, so you gotta go through and make some little tweaks and some adjustments and going through and giving yourself enough data to work with. Like for example, if you know that for every 10 people you talk to on the phone, you close one deal, right? So that's a 10% close rate based off your appointments. But let's say you go through in one month, you're like, oh, I'm, got, I'm just gonna close one deal. But you only go through and you only talk to six people, or only seven people, right? You didn't give yourself a chance to actually even become successful because you didn't generate enough leads, you didn't talk to enough people to make a closed deal actually happen for you in your business. I see this so many times, and honestly, guys, it frustrates me because not that you know they're not seeing success, because I know that they'll see success, but when people quit, they give up on themselves too early to not go through and stick with it to the point where they're actually finding that gold vein they're actually seeing success and results in their business. All right, guys, so the third and final big mistake that I see, and I, I mean, I see a lot of mistakes, but these are obviously the top three, but the third one is people not leveraging their warm market. All right, so let's just give you a quick little example with this, right? So let's say you go to the downtown area of wherever you live, all right, and you just go find some random people on the street and you say, hey, you know, let me, I, I'm a realtor, let me help you buy a home or let me help you sell your home. They're gonna look at you and like, okay, who the heck is this person and like, why should I trust them? Are they even a good realtor? Like, do they even know what they're doing? Are they gonna get me a good deal? Are they gonna get me a lot of money for my house? Whereas if you go through and you know, you have a friend, let's say, and you know that they're looking to buy or sell their home and you go hit them up and say, hey, I, I'm a realtor, I can go through and help you go through and buy a home, sell your home, do whatever you need to do what do you think this response is going to be, right? One random person on the street, they're just going to look at you like, okay, you're a little crazy versus your friends like, oh yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's go do business together, right? So people so many times they focus on just the random people on the sidewalk and they just go and they try to generate them as a lead and they forget about their existing network, existing database. And then they go and they complain after like, oh, well, my friend Johnny, he knows I'm a realtor but he went through and used this other agent, right? Well, the other agent had a solid follow-up system in place. They had the remarketing, the retargeting, all those ads in place to go through and stay in touch with your friend. Because honestly, even though you think every day the fact that your realtor and everyone should be doing business with you, your friends or even family members, they're not thinking about that every day. They're thinking about what's going on in their life. So they need to go buy a home or sell a home. They're not necessarily thinking, oh, yeah, my, my buddy's a realtor and I gotta go connect with them. They're gonna go through and respond to whoever's staying in touch with them, who's ever reaching out and whoever's right there in front of their face because it's easy, it's low-hanging fruit and, and simple to work with, all right? So those are the three key things, guys. Is one, make sure you're choosing the right marketing objective for your Facebook campaign. Number two, make sure you're giving yourself enough time to actually be successful and see results. And then number three, make sure you're going through and leveraging your warm market, that warm audience, and market them as much as you are your cold audience, okay? And you can market to this warm audience via Facebook ads. You can market to them with your email marketing, text message marketing. Like, there's so many different ways to go through and stay in front of all of your warm market, all right? Now, really quick, guys, it just this just came to me. If you guys want my Facebook ads mini course, um, just comment down below and I'll shoot that on over to you guys because I put this together and kind of give a quick run through of all the basics of Facebook advertising that you need to use in your business. So I walk through the Facebook ads manager of all the different marketing objectives and when to use each marketing objective. I walk through the Facebook pixel, how to use Facebook lead forms, how to set up website conversion campaigns. So this is a $97 value mini course and it's gonna give you a quick rundown on all the basics of Facebook advertising that you need to use and do 
to become a successful real estate agent in your market all right so anyway guys comment down below if you guys want that also if you enjoyed this video go ahead give it a thumbs up also make sure you subscribe to the channel because I launch a video um, right now I'm trying to do it Monday Wednesday Friday I was doing it every single day um, I just got a little bit too time-consuming so I'm trying to do Monday Wednesday Friday of new real estate Facebook advertising marketing lead generation content to help you guys make more money and grow your business all right so anyway comment down below give it a thumbs up if you guys like the video and subscribe and I will see you guys all later this week